I think it's just a matter of taking something and dedicating yourself to it and just not stopping. I actually remember first thinking that pencils were for drawing before I discovered that they were for writing. I, I remember being mind blown that you could actually create a picture like an optical illusion with a pencil and paper. There's a certain, I guess, mental process that I go through where I look at the image and I almost try to mentally translate it into what it would look like as a drawing. For me, drawing hyperrealism is something that gave me a lot of meaning. It gave me a purpose that I could dedicate myself to. When I reached my 20s, there was a period of almost nine years where I really only drew maybe one or two portraits per year. When I drew Katy Perry in 2010, I didn't think I had reached the pinnacle of drawing, but I felt like, well, that's certainly my pinnacle. The fire is gone now. The, the fire was improvement. And now I'm hit this plateau. It's like, well, there's no desire to keep drawing again because there's no way it's gonna be better than this one. So what's the point? That was really the moment that I admitted to myself that art is just not a part of my life at all anymore. During that time, there wasn't a single day that passed where I didn't think about how I gave up on that and that sense of guilt associated with that. Three years ago, when I was living with my girlfriend at the time, she was seeing my drawings and it really hit home for me when she said she didn't even know that drawing was something that I ever did. And that really opened my eyes to think that, wow, I have really given up on this and this is really something that I need to start doing again. When I started drawing again, it was very humbling because I felt like I was starting at a much lower level than before. But it really was only a couple drawings in where I felt like I was getting all my skill level back and improving upon what I had done before. And I haven't looked back since. Being a professional artist, I think, was something that I thought about even when I was young. I always thought, wow, how crazy would it be to just draw pictures for a living? I think it would be incredible to look back on my career and be seen as the pencil artist. You know, if you think about hyperrealism, you think of Fabrice, the artist. But as long as I'm drawing what I want to be drawing, that's really all I ever want to do.